second step of the welcoming is for you to review together with the apprentice the apprenticeship characteristics and goals. Make sure to do this review in details separately from previous onboarding the apprentice into the company. Not to overwhelm or confuse apprentice with too much different information at once. You could arrange the meeting with the apprentice even before starting the apprenticeships in order to tune in, clarify expectations and discuss the educational goals of the apprenticeships as set by the educational center. Anyhow, when doing so, first of all, focus on the elements supporting a safe environment and creating an open relationship, as it greatly facilitates further cooperation with the apprentice. Start by briefly introducing apprentice, the workplace, target group and the content of the apprenticeships. Also, check together the general references of the company. Explain to the apprentice what are the working hours, where to find working facilities, and many other things. Clarify as well basic rules for the apprenticeship and what is expected from the apprentice. Punctuality, attendance policy, and how is it handled? Rules of the corporative code, if any. Contribution to the creation and maintenance of an adequate work environment. Security, health, and hygiene at work. Tidiness and communication. Then review together with the apprentice the apprenticeship characteristics and goals. Clarify expectations and discuss the educational goals of the apprenticeships as they are set by the educational center. Discuss also the apprentice's workplace expectations with regard to the apprentice's stay in the workplace. See it with an emphasis on respect for clients of your company and on preserving their dignity, if need be especially if the apprentice is expected in fulfilling the assigned task to be independent and responsible. Don't forget to ask the apprentice about experience with the target group and previous apprenticeships, if relevant. Also find out what the apprentice perceives as risk, what are these uncertainties and explain how to overcome them in the workplace. Make sure to discuss the topic of apprentice preferences in terms of activities performed. Whether the apprentice prefers teamwork, independent, whether the apprentice has the courage to work with a large group of clients or would prefer an individual work. Discuss also on the educational objectives. In this way, the apprentice should acquaint you with the form and content of the goals that have been consulted with the educational center. Still, the process of setting educational goals should always be a tripartite process. You as a mentor should provide the apprentice with feedback on the content of the goals. Also give a guidance on how to achieve the goals during the apprenticeship, where to look for the necessary resources and what is the evidence to fulfill them. At the same time, leave the space for the apprentice to discuss with you the suitability of those set goals. If the set goal is not achievable in the workplace, Look for a way to reformulate it or to completely change it. This will be then the goals for both of you to work on throughout the apprenticeship. At the end, agree together the way to carry out the activities to be developed by the apprentice. Finally, as there are quite a lot of things that have been discussed, don't forget to ensure the mutual understanding with apprentice and verify that.